Good afternoon and welcome to the final of the CLB three on three Aussie Summer Series finals here from the historic Palais Theatre at St Kilda. I'm Matt McQuaid alongside NBL.com today you lead writer outstanding basketball analyst Liam Santa Maria. This is the finale of what's been an outstanding tournament. We've seen eight great teams go head to head and ultimately this is for the final where the winner will represent Australia, Liam Santa Maria in the three on three World Tour qualifier in Mongolia of all places. Well, indeed. Thank you, Maddie. Great to be alongside you for the final and you've done a sterling job throughout the day. Excellent to be calling alongside you once again. And what a day we've had here in St Kilda with the CLB three on three competition. And as you said, Darwin and Townsville have won their way into the final. Uh, Townsville taking care of Melbourne in the semi-finals. Darwin doing uh, their good work and getting their way through as well. The Darwin team have been really impressive. Emmanuel Siriotis is the three-point specialist and um, a veteran from Darwin basketball. And three American very talented imports. Jerron Jamison. A uh, 25 year old out of South Bend, played his college ball in Indiana. Jarrell Sanders, big fella, aka holiday season. 6'6, uh, strong unit inside out of, out of Ferris State University. And Anthony Golden, the knockdown shooter who's been doing some strong work in Darwin, taking on the Townsville lineup. Of course, headed off by Peter Crawford and Luke Schencher. Peter Crawford, London Olympian, one of the greatest shooters in Australian basketball history. Luke Schencher, former NBA player and 2010 NBA champion, one of our greats, as well as Tim Keating, uh, point guard for the Townsville Heat in the QBL, and Cameron Springle, who's been doing good work in the Waratah League. Maddie, how do you see this one playing out? Darwin undefeated throughout the tournament, but Townsville in their last two games have just shown how deadly they can be and I just think Shenshart is really the X factor in all of this so no one's been able to deal with that that size and you know and he's proven to be so effective at seven foot one just parking himself in the low block and mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be the real challenge for Darwin and as as impressive as they have been as a significant size mismatch with Shench out there so we'll see and one thing we, we should talk about for those of you joining us for the first time is just the differences between the three on three format and the five on five format. We get that up on the screen and the real differences between three on three and five on five. So they play they play ten minutes. So it's a, a ten minute game. As you can see, it's a half court obviously, three aside. Uh, the game is over at, at twenty one points. So it's twenty one points or they have to win by two. Uh, within that 10 minutes. Shot clock is 12 seconds, not 24. Field goals are worth one point. Two points is a three, and there's no break in scoring. And so we're underway. Here we are straight away. Oh, wow. And that's been that tempo we've seen mm -hmm. over the last two games from Townsville there. Well, you talk about the difference between three on three and five on five. That high-paced tempo, frantic action, that's what we've been seeing in the big games here this afternoon. And Saw it straight off the bat there. Peter Crawford attacking the basket and getting the early lead for Townsville. And Anthony Golden finds Sanders and air balls the three. And been very windy here. Very chilly day. And they've had a lot to contend with with the conditions. But these two teams winning their way through. We've seen, Matty, the one team that was able to have some success against Townsville today were, were the young kids out of the centre of excellence and their height. Big mate Kalina and young Dalton able to really trouble Luke Schencher inside. Well, Sanders and his ability to use his lower body strength to trouble Schencher, not going to have any luck up there. But if he can work hard early and gets, get him out of position, they might be in with a show. Otherwise, they're up against it. Dalton with a attempt at two is no good and gets it back from Sanders and Schencher's height is too much long range 
hook shot. And that may be the only issue or the only uh, way to stop Shench is put him on the line. Hasn't been particularly successful today from the foul stroke, the uh, foul line rather, and misses there. So here's Golden's oh, got a mismatch against Shencha. Throws it up and tipped in by Jamison. Jamison had a 74 point game playing in Darwin October last year, so and he's really been impressive in this tournament. I really like Jamison. I think he's a talented ball player. Could get a look in some Siebel teams or maybe the QBL or the like. We spoke to him before the final, said he was almost lined up to play in the SBL in Perth this season. Didn't play out. But I like what he's got to offer. And he's really been the standout for Darwin, who have been undefeated here today. And Townsville with a one-point lead. And Jamison ties it up. Shencha just giant in there and, and pull that foul on the floor. Uh, Townsville will retain possession. So Townsville in yellow, Darwin in orange. PC exploring and firing away. No good as Keating knocks it off. Golden. Oh, that yeah. was clever. That was, that was clever. clever. Keating, veteran savvy. Once again out of the QBL playing for the Townsville Heath. See, this is where Sanders has that little bit of an advantage. With that lower body strength, Shench. That was veteran savvy there with the spin move. But Sanders, his ability to use that strength, keep Shencher out of the painted area. He needs to do his work early. It's going to be the key. Because once he gets it within five feet, it's game over. We've been saying throughout the afternoon how much this three-on-three -three format really suits Luke Schencher at this stage of his career. Obviously retired from the five-on-five -five version of the game, but not having to run full court really brings his 7-1 frame right into proceedings. And PC loses it out of bounds, so that'll be down possession. Tight ball game. Just rolling down to six minutes left in the final. And oh. Jamison almost looking for the sack. I can't believe. And Crawford fires and hits. <laughs> and PC struggled early with the outside shot in this he tournament. Did. But as it's gone long, oh, what a super oh, move wow. by Jamison. Hangs in the air. Gets his own rebound. Great pass. Oh, blows the layup though to Sanders. Gets it back and scores. Oh, I love the persistence there from Darwin. And Jamison, what an athlete. Shencha rolls him with the left hand, claiming he was fouled by Sanders. And Townsville is getting a little mini break here. Sanders. Shencha just says, no way. <laughs> Sticks those, those hands up. I mean, Sanders claiming he was fouled, but... Well, Sanders needs to face him up. That's what he needs to do. We've seen his ability to shoot from range. He won the game... On a last second long range bomb that he's not having any luck deep in the painted area against the big shench. Crawford, an outstanding slasher, scores off the window. The favourites, the pre tournament favourites, Townsville with the three point lead halfway through the final. Golden with a fade that's no good, but. Sanders is there on the O-glass trying to power his way inside and draws the, the foul. Has he or is it a jump ball? Looks like it's a jump ball. Sanders and Crawford tied him up down there. Jumped a bit too early in PC. Now three ball from Golden's. No good. Keating. Boy, they needed that. Crawford, another three. Oh, that was in and out. Oh, nice fight by Keating. Straight back to PC. Missed it. Shencha just way too big. <laughs> Scores <laughs> using one hand. Sanders looking to attack the big man. No good. And well, they just don't have the length and the size to handle Shencha. Darwin, I mean, we saw that with the Center of Excellence kids. 
That was the one team able to give him trouble today. Oh, that looked good, but it was just a bit short from Katie. So, spin move from Jameson, who's been Darwin's best player throughout oh. the tournament, and Golden throws it away. So, four-point break, and it's getting things are getting a little bit desperate now for Darwin, and he to start causing some turnovers and finishing. I'm just going to get a ball change there. Ball's gone a little flat. Was that veteran savvy? With a four-point lead, three minutes on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> Crawford right hands at no good. Sheets your hope board. Forget about it. That'll drop. And Townsville have doubled up Darwin and they're in great position to come away with a win. They sure are. In this tournament. And Jamison for two and hits it. Well, that's big. Big basket. They needed that. They've been a little gun shy the last couple of possessions just to let it fly. But there, Jamison. Ooh, crucial make. Crawford gets a pick from Shencha. Shencha rolls, can't find him, it's stolen. Let it fly, Golden. Golden on the crossover, goes in off the window, rebound to okay. Sanders. All right, two point game. And all of a sudden, it's back. Here we go. And it's that that was not the oh, feeding, wow. I believe. Oh, I tell you. Jeez, can we go to the video yeah, on that one? I think that was a missed call there. Darwin not happy about it. Heading throws it up to Shensha. Here's Crawford. Crawford straight to the rack. Misses. And Darwin Alrighty. stays alive with less than two minutes left. Nice comeback here from Darwin. Golden throws it up. That's good. One That's point a game. One point ball game. PC for two. No. Tapped out oh. by Sanders. Oh, knocked oh, off well brilliantly done. by Jamison. That's going to be Darwin basketball. Okay, the wheels are falling off here, so Matty. Townsville were down, were up five, excuse me. Now Darwin with four in a row. And here's Golden looking to go to work. Kicks it out. Oh, he had a look at that. Jamison wide open. Sanders, we know we've seen him hit the three before. Not that time. Shencha rebound. Great play. Sanders saves it almost. PC straight to the oh. right. Rejected by Jamison. What a play, but... Shencha gets it back and scores with a critical basket with just over a minute left. 11-9. What a game this is. Fitting way to finish. That's to tie. Oh, it's boy. in and out. He can shoot too. Golden. That looked good. Shencha deep catch. Right hand. Not that time. His favorite hook shot. And there's still plenty of time. 45 seconds left. Straight to the rack as Golden just leaves it short though. Oh, Jamison was wide open on the three and he missed it. Crawford gets fouled with 37 seconds left. He might be going to the stripe. He is. And that'll be the six team foul. So it's one shot on the six team foul. So this could be to ice it. 30 seconds to go. This make to go up three and send themselves to Mongolia. PC, good. Clutch free throw from Peter Crawford. Jamison kicks it out. They need a two instead. Golden sort oh. of tries to oh, pick it up. One and the foul, so oh, you might geez. get two the old-fashioned way. All right. Time running mm. down. The time on the uh, screen here, a little misrepresentative. 23, so 23 seconds. seconds. Oh, there we go. We got it. And tried to get his own. They rebound. Oh, this he to does. Tie. This to tie. And here it is. This to tie, Matty. That's an air ball. Ooh, Wow. That fizzled out. Well, there was a huge gust of wind that blew right at, right at us. <laughs> well, it wouldn't <laughs> have been the, the first time not that today. they hit the big three. <laughs> yeah, they not hit, today. They, they hit that in the win over Melbourne. Now Crawford almost loses oh. it and Jamison fouls him. It's going to put going to the, stripe. the two. Ten seconds left. Uh, you would think one will do it from PC. And he does. And he's going to get one more. That's the seventh team foul. Uh, Townsville. You're going to take it out, Matty. They're going to take this out. The favourites have come home. PC misses. Big offensive rebound. They're kidding. And that will do it. Eight seconds left. No need to even shoot it. Crawford. Keating. And that's it. 
it's all over. In Townsville, uh, the champions of the CLB three-on-three -three Aussie Summer Series final here from St Kilda. A great tournament today in the car park of the historic Palais Theatre on, on St Kilda Beach. And Liam Santa Maria, Townsville, came in as favourites knocked off a Darwin team that were outstanding in the tournament. Terrific final and your thoughts on not only the final but the day as a whole. Well it's been great. Hasn't it? It's been a little cold <laughs> but it's been a great exhibition of basketball. It's been a great exhibition of three on three and uh, as we've said throughout the day a format and a, a game that really has the potential to become an Olympic sport in, in uh, the not so distant future and um, it's been a real exhibition in Townsville. Well, they've been fantastic. They had that one slip up earlier in the day going down to the center of excellence and fought their way back and really got the hang of the, of the format and how to go about it. And uh, in the end, just far too strong for, well, not far too strong, but too strong for a Darwin lineup that had run through the day undefeated. So credit to it. They got some real veterans of the game here in Australia. They came in as the favourites and they took care of business. And who, other than obviously, you know, the Crawfords and the, the Shenches and, and some of the imports that we saw, you know, who were the, the players that, that really impressed you? I mean, obviously, Tamiri Wigness has got to be the, the standout of all that. But I mean, uh, you know, uh, some of the other kids from the Centre of Excellence? Well, the Centre of Excellence kids were fantastic. I mean, big mate Kalina extremely impressed with with him and his impact um, and you mentioned to Mary Wigness I really liked uh, Jaron Jamison from Darwin uh, you guys playing playing up in Darwin a couple of years and and we spoke about him just before I think he's a good chance to to do some things here in Australia maybe a Siebel team have a look at picking him up um, and uh, certainly Melbourne were, were a solid team Nicholas Masunda and big Airy Stewart who's uh, playing for Melbourne Tigers in the Siebel. They were standout performers and um, you know, they were just done over in the semi-finals. And uh, in the end, really, it was Peter Croft and Luke Schencher were the two standouts on the day and uh, the two guys that led their team to the championship. All right, we're just going to have the, the presentation of the uh, trophy to the winning team. Liam Santa Maria is going to do the honours with... CLB founder and director Matt Hollard standing next to me the one and only Mal Hollywood Cooper who did a fantastic job as ever great to see the the legend on the whistle once again so I'm just going to Stay with us for one moment as the uh, the darkness descends here on St Kilda. And actually, before we, we do that, we're going to take a break for one minute just quickly, and then we will be right back with you with a presentation. Stay with us. You're watching the CLB 3-on-3 three three Aussie Summer Series Finals on Live Sport Australia.
Welcome back to St Kilda. Once again, champions of the CLB three-on-three -three Aussie Summer Series Finals are Townsville. And very shortly, we're going to have the official presentation to commence of the championship trophy. The winners of the tournament will uh, have the opportunity to represent Australia in the FIBA World Tour Qualifier three-on-three -three to be held in Mongolia next month. So tremendous opportunity for those guys to go over and represent their country and the favourites coming in and they did the job not without some difficulty along the way. Lost a surprising game to the Canberra team, the centre of excellence. Uh, Just uh, waiting on the uh, official presentation to commence here. Uh, you can see on your screen there, referee Mal Cooper, who did an outstanding job, ref and uh, joined once again by my co-commentator. Just getting the gloves on, having a few munchies, <laughs> of course. Right behind us, Nathan Stripple, another outstanding basketball commentator himself. And so right now, here we are with uh, And thus MC concludes Tuft. the inaugural 2017 CLB three-on-three -three summer series. We want to say congratulations. Let's, can we get that music down? Thank you. Thank you very much. We want to congratulate all the teams who took part today. Well done to everyone. Well done to Darwin, our runners-up. But a big congratulation to our inaugural champions of the Summer Series 2017 three-on-three, three, Townsville. <laughs> well done, gentlemen. Uh, how'd you boys find the conditions out there on the outside courts coming from sunny Townsville to uh, even sunny in Melbourne? Uh, terrible. Uh, obviously, uh, we, we sort of planned to play around uh, going inside and shooting some threes, but we had to just go inside. How long have you boys been playing together for? About four hours. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's obviously a bit of team cohesion there. Yeah, yeah, we're doing well. And what do you know of Mongolia? Nothing. <laughs> Ever eaten Mongolian beef? <laughs> yeah, they're going to teach us how to cook. That's all you need to worry about. Well, the, you boys are going to Mongolia. Well done. Congratulations. And... Uh, You'll be uh, doing the Australia proud because you'll be wearing the green and gold. Yeah, cool. Uh, we were super excited. You know, we think it's a pretty cool series. Uh, you know, the, the CLB three-on-three -three, uh, World World Series is a pretty cool tournament to uh, be involved in. So hopefully we can qualify for that. Rumours are, you know, never know, mate. The next Olympics, there might be a little bit of a three-on-three -three in there as well. So who knows? Yeah, I won't be competing in that. <laughs> <laughs> you might be to watch, though. Anyway, let's say well done to our champions, Townsville, this year of our summer. Three on three, CLB series. So well done. As I said, congratulations to all our teams who took part. Well done to all the officials as well. We say thank you very much to Ray, uh, to, Ray to Damien, to Mal as well, to our commentators. Thank you very much, Matt and Liam, to all everyone who organised it, Yvette and Matt from CLB and all the uh, people who came along and gave their time. So thank you very much. It's a great competition and we look forward to building and becoming bigger and better. So with that, thanks to Shira Taft, and I just want to congratulate Matt Holland from uh, Champions League Australia for this for this event, for putting in this concept. As we say thank you to, to the great Peter Crawford and the great Luke Shensha, Big Red himself. And uh, just a, a great event, Liam Santa Maria, and worthy winners, Townsville. Well, they really were. And uh, they're going to be tough to beat at the FIBA World Qualifiers in Mongolia. Don't mess around with that. I mean, we spoke about it during the call. You can see him on the screen there. Big Luke Shencha. He's going to be a real handful. And Peter Crawford entering the scene there, shaking hands, taking some congratulations. London Olympian, one of the great shooters of all time. This is a legit three-on-three -three team. They've taken care of business. They've won the national 
title and they're going to be pulling on the green and gold and uh, hats off to them. It's been a great day and well done by you. You've called up a storm. Actually, you called the storm away, which was nice. Thank you for doing <laughs> oh, that. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in fine form as always, and it's been a pleasure. Mate, always a pleasure to broadcast games with your, yourself. And keep doing what you're doing. Your writing has been outstanding. So everybody still watching and still with us, you want to catch Mr. Santa Maria and his brilliant writing, go to www.nbl.com.au. He's always got something up there, some outstanding piece of writing, some great storytelling, uh, or on the Basketball Victoria website. And it's been an absolute pleasure, and I hope we do it again, partner. It's always great to do it with you. So with that, I'm Matt McQuaid. Thanks for joining us tonight on Live Sport Australia, and I certainly hope you've enjoyed the action. On behalf of our producer, James Bowman, who did a phenomenal job setting all this up, and my broadcast partner, Liam Santa Maria, one of the absolute best in the business. It's been great to have your company today for the CLB three-on-three -three Aussie Summer Series Final. Stay safe wherever you are. Good night.